All right, we should be live back here at Four Origins, and we ran into a few technical difficulties while we are trying to do this. So, all right. So, we're hoping that this is yeah. uh, all finally back up and running. There. Yeah. So, Fredo, for people who might have just missed that, for everyone who might have just missed that, if yeah. the internet was not working, you were saying that. So, I was saying, like, it's, it's, it's really a mindset, it's a state of being. So, this is why I'm glad that you choose the way to be. Yeah. Because, and then being more agile, meaning it's, it's here, I already accept. Because I don't know which part we miss in the, the live stream, but just to recap a little bit, guys, it's really about like there's a set of values and principles, and then when you are actually uh, embracing them, and it's helping you making decisions to please your customer, please your coworker, have a better collaboration, better communication, and a smarter way of getting the thing done. Yeah. And, uh, so that's basically it. So being more agile is you, you need to learn the basic of that mindset, that revolution that starts uh, back in 2001 mostly. And moving on, yeah, you become more agile by actually uh, learning more and more about this mindset. Yeah. So there's no like anything else. It's like uh, sports training. So at first, you might not have the best cardio, the uh, best achievement, but it's, as long as you have the mindset, you grow. It's a grow mindset, actually. Yeah, okay. yeah. I thought, this is why I, 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 I draw the, my school. Right. I'm finished, it's continuous play. Yeah. It will, be, never, it will never be finished. And it's never actually over. Yeah. And if you can just give one quick, like if someone is in a fixed mindset, how is it possible to get a growth mindset? If the people, if the person wants to, yes. But is there any way of making someone want to? We never enforce a team okay. or a team or an organization. No. Actually, as a consultant myself and many of my colleagues could cover, co corroborate it here, we could quit the mandate or mission because there's no will. Yeah. of being agile because they want to stick to their old way of doing things the whole world so at some point it's not a question of giving up yeah it's a question of respect also probably the, the motivation of those people yeah and it's another thing in the practical sense of being agile it will be very agile also to let go of people who are pleased because we have to please them, remember? Yeah, yeah. So if they're pleased to do waterfall uh, process or to do it certain way and it's worked for them, why should I actually force them to adapt agility? Yeah. That will be anti-agile. Right. You can't force anyone, you can't change their mindset, you can just see the mindset to advance them. It's really a question of why. Yeah. And when you answer the why, then you can do anything you want from that why. Yeah. But if you don't read, maybe it's a Right. Now, hey, yeah, let's go to the uh, some of the yeah. write-in responses. Do you think? Actually, when we do this from there, yeah, uh, probably some people out there heard about the the Lean Cafe or the yep. Lean Guinness. So just making fun of those. Yeah. With something to drink. Okay. To make it happening, like we do three other scrum master, other coaches, other business owners, just to exchange about what fascinates us. Yeah. Which is, Great customers to please them. So, so beer, beer will definitely help. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, wine. I saw people for those who like like the, the Kanban pizza. Why not? Uh -huh. So you know, just 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 to have fun. It's right. To make fun and yeah. That's why we choose to. And and changing things up. As someone here wrote experimenting. So exactly. I think it's, it's always testing, making your circle, yeah. keeping 
experimenting, just seeing where it could go, knowing that no. Yes, your question. That, that person is very wise. So bravo to you out there on that side of that. Because when you ask the question, uh, Chris, how can someone be more agile? Yeah. It's by experimenting. It's empirical. You have to put empirism and agility. Otherwise, it won't work. Yeah. Learn new thing and be open to it. Yeah. That's the point. Awesome. Are you ready for? Yeah. Again? All right. This one is going to be a bit more open-ended. And this is just about, do you hope to change the world? Wow. So you, uh, let's see, you just got to hit done, draw again, and then how do you hope to change the world? So I do that? Yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah, the next one. Yeah, well, so for me, it's don't keep calm, go change the world by being yourself. Be authentic. Yeah. Put intention into what you want to do and what you do. Yeah. I think that's the key. And actually, yes, agility will help you to get there. With okay. that mindset, you I mean, like, with, I don't know if it's too... Uh, yeah, go, go, yeah, get into it. Get into the... The theoretical, the theoretical, but the practical way. I mean, like, because I've, I've heard you change yourself. That is the first step to changing your environment. Yes. It has to start from within. Exactly. And then when you embrace the sense of value, and you actually use them to make decisions to improve yourself, yeah. your team, your organization, and then the world. Yeah. And that's funny because this morning I was introducing a client to Agility and we exactly went through that kind of stage. Yeah. Because first it's yourself. If you feel good, if you're in love with yourself, you'll be able to give love to others. And no, I'm not shy to talk about love. I'm not talking about romantic Doesn't love. Doesn't love and business have no place together? Absolutely not. <laughs> not in 2020. Guys, we are in that. And uh, we're entering the third decade of the 21st century. Could we evolve? Yeah. Okay, so change the world to start with yourself. And when you're well being, when you know thyself, you know the universe. So you yeah. change the world. Yeah. You see, that's my motto. It might sound a bit esoteric. Yeah. But in the meantime, apply, applying that to business, we see it often happening. After 17 years of the Agile movement, 18 years next month, by the way. Yeah. Okay? 19 years. We see now a group of people in London and Oxford working on conscious capitalism with Richard Barrett. Richard Barrett was, by the way, the ex uh, president of the uh, Sabat Mondial, among the, the World Bank. World Bank, yeah. Yeah. And he started thinking about new ways of managing things. But you got to put a lot of love. Yeah. So you see, people are afraid of this word love. Yeah. But that's the thing. Love will be bigger. Right. So, to change the world, actually, do you change the world or you transform the world? Transform from the Latin transforma, being actually better to another form. Yeah. So, actually, yeah. evolve. So, yeah. So, you get back to the first question so, when I draw the infinite loop. Yeah. That's the thing. So, infinite loop, but of evolution. Right. And how do you know if you're transforming it in the right way or the See, wrong way? Other people say, start with you. Yeah. See, so I'm the other one. Yeah, yeah. So, excuse me, you're just so you change the world. Yeah. Start with you. Um, by giving back by giving with love. Back with see, love. I don't know if it's people who hear us talking about love or people inside here. It's, ah, it's my <laughs> colleague just in front of me here. So, so, so yeah. here's the thing. So, and you have a uh, conscious leadership group. Right. Conscious leadership. Can you imagine that? Conscious like, leadership. Like, the whole way of managing is having a director. Director. Uh, yeah, words of a, of, a, of a way, right? Right. So when you have those words, now we transform all those director and manager into leaders. Yeah. But nowadays, to apply this kind of mindset of agility, we just don't need leaders. Right. We need conscious leaders. 
and conscious leaders, it's about the people around them. Yeah. Um, always have this value system in mind to make the better decision to please the yeah. people that work for them. So I have a question. Yeah. Conscious leaders run companies on the stock market where short-term gains are prioritized. Good question. I think we're getting there at some point. As I said, Richard Barrett, who started a movement of conscious capitalism, yeah. was for about 15 years the head of the World Bank. Yeah. It's the central bank of all central banks. So now when you talk about the stock market, I know it's a bit on the other side of the country, so it's more like I would say, I don't know if I'm allowed to say that, but it's more like the fake investment financial thing. Yeah. It's a gaming part. You see tweets that drop company valuations exactly. by a billion dollars. Exactly. And oh, by the way, I was talking before at the Scrum here with a nice entrepreneur before. They say, like, the startup wave that we have right now, yeah. it's all BS right. because yeah. of these valuations. Yeah. Like, we have a great example, and I'm sorry to offend anybody out there, but we work. Yeah. It's almost failing right now. Uh, are you losing the, the thing? Yeah, we're again? still going here though. Here's your because you're the most important. Yeah, exactly. uh, So, yeah, that's it. So, you see, all these discussions, these conversations should help us grow. Yeah. And should help us transform the world. Uh, and it's, it's happening in. So, that's, that's a funny thing. Is it happening in a fast, slow. This is a perception. Yeah. Okay, even the time, the concept right. of time is a perception. So, right. So, right there's, now. There's some. Sharks that have been alive for yeah. 500 years. Exactly. So the fire I said, I said, don't keep going. History. Because if you come, if you stop moving, the shark is going to eat. Yeah. But yeah. if you're still swimming, the shark will run up there. Just, Just keep, keep going. And yeah, exactly. yeah. Well, so awesome. What, what have we have here? It's, uh, yeah, we got. Uh, we think Earth some people great. think Bernie make, will change the make, world. Make Earth great again. Love, like anarchy. anarchy. Oh, yes. Actually, about anarchy, I'd like to say something. Thank you for that. Uh, and you, whoever you are, because this is great, actually. A lot of people will say, oh, agility will bring chaos into my organization. No, they don't understand. It's actually bring better order. Not yeah. order out of chaos, but actually, I like to say anarchy is one thing. But anarchy is yeah. self-managed. I, I, I think it's a proper yeah. way to just talk about self-organizing, yeah. self managing stuff. So this is, I think this is very clever. Actually. Yeah, yeah. Because anarchy, of course, is always chaos. It's a negative way of seeing things. But with anarchy as a system of society, it's actually about empowering people. Right. Really self managed more luxury, uh, smaller structure. And exactly what agility is promoting. Yeah. Also, we talked about it before, but you remind me that. So thank you for that. Yeah. Where you are, comes up to this because yeah. they, they got it right, and I yeah. I think it's it's interesting that anarchy train because I was recently reading about forests that have these pockets of biodiversity. Yes. And they happen once a tree falls down, clears out the space, and gives room for all of these other organisms to grow within. But if you have wildfires, you have just flat clearing, There's it, it doesn't have enough structure around it to support that regrowth. So it's almost like the healthiest organisms have those trees falling down, have those things changing, but they don't change the entire organization, but they're always changing, or else they can get wiped out by one single thing that they didn't see coming. So, I think, uh, yeah, a healthy a healthy dose of anarchy is uh, yeah. good for everyone. But, again, anarchy is the uh, pejorative way of saying, like, uh, if the system right. like to be here. Right. But anarchy is, if you read about it, it's a very serious political system yeah. and empowering the citizen. Mm -hmm. uh, like, anybody out there will talk about it because I saw Bernie something and I thought you but yeah. But Bernie, his first campaign, he promotes a sense of empowering people. Yeah. It's not about the citizens or communities. It's really about a local community that work together in togetherness yeah. and a better say in what it should be. And then you could actually, after that, it's the same thing. I say, start from you, your community, and then you scale it. Yeah. So you scale it. So, so our artists, when I was reading it in my first bachelor in political science back in the day, a long, long time ago, I know I might look young in the dark, but I'm not. So, yeah, it was all about this. I was fascinated by those guys who work in the 
in the 1700s, before the American Revolution. Yeah. They wrote about a system of self Okay. So, but the bourgeois in France and in the United States, they decide to create more uh, practical type of revolution. Right. Or pragmatic, should I say. Yeah. So we're call it more pragmatic. Instead of going into a system that's really important, uh, the subject of the king. Right. Well, the king, you could argue that he's not in the business of empowering. No. He's in the business of being in power. No, but and so... You saw what happened? Yeah. You, maybe less in the United States. Uh, yeah. You could correct me about that because... But in France, the revolution that stayed for about two decades, so Napoleon take over the he, he gets back the, the power he was giving to the yeah. citizen. Because I don't know if people out there, some French there, but they could also correct us. The commune de Paris, there was a commune, the commune was actually a self managed anarchist yeah. way of managing things. Okay. But Robespierre had killed them all. Yeah. It was a revolution called a revolution. The thing is, they replaced the king in France. By a, a non oligarchic system that it didn't empower more the people. Yeah. We think, oh yes, we, uh, liberty, uh, brotherhood, fraternity, yeah. and I missed the third one. Anyway, <laughs> but, you had know, a very good French person. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's, there's some, they're everywhere here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Run into one eventually. But I don't remember the third. Uh, what's the third? Liberté, fraternité, et loyauté. 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 So the thing Sorry. is, yeah. So this is for me, like, uh, what's really now we have uh, yeah. maybe a yoga staff or meditation. Recycle. Yeah. Just do it. I think that just do it is interesting too. Just Wait, trending, is it, is it, trending towards your code, action. Your code, your code. <laughs> yeah, maybe maybe we should just put all of our hope in Yoko Ono. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. She's going to see. It's been a while. Yeah, it's the uh, sit in for peace, which actually happened here in Montreal at the Fairmont Hotel. Her and John Lennon yeah. locked themselves in a hotel room. Yeah. 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 I wasn't even born. <laughs> have you been to the. I have. It's a great, it's a great exhibit. So, hey, yeah. This has been. Oh, awesome. you can you can That's right. Thank you. Uh, this has been an incredible interview. Thank you. Learned so much about agility, everything. How can people find out more about what you're doing? Come to the next Agile Lounge. Well, actually, I, I just don't want to sell myself. I will sell the movement first. Yeah. And I think the first link you should uh, go, it's Enterprise Scrum altogether. Okay. It's the sign of my great mentor and the mentor of the person who put it us together. Yeah. Yeah. So you're going to learn a lot of things about the true pragmatic way of bringing agility into any organization of any size, of any industry, anything. And if you'd like to know more about what I'm doing, not just in Montreal, but also in Europe and the United States, go to Agile, um, let me say again, like... Agile Lounge? AgileLounge.com, yes. So I'll move to the I don't know. Awesome, yeah. But, so that's the thing. And if you're in Montreal, in two months, come have a beer with us at the Scrum Beer. Yeah. You're more than welcome. It's a great time. Yeah. And the beer here at Fort Origins. Fantastic. Fantastic. Shout out to them. Shout out to them. Yeah. Thank you guys. Awesome. Cheers. Thank you.